Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up your iPad Pro 2021 third generation and transfer data over from your Android device. So whether you have a, an Android tablet or a mobile, uh, a mobile phone device, you can transfer it over to your iPad during the setup process. So first, let's turn on your iPad and begin. I'm going to swipe up and choose a language. So select your language and select your country or region. And then we're going to choose set up manually. And next we're going to select a Wi-Fi connection. So put in your Wi-Fi password. So put in the password and then join the network. Okay, next the iPad will proceed to activate. So we'll connect to the activation server and check on the status of your iPad. So give it a moment also. Okay, next we're going to tap on continued. And then at this stage, you can choose to set up face ID or you can do it later. I'm going to choose set up later in settings. And here you can put in the passcode. So you can choose the different type of passcode, such as the custom alphanumeric code custom numeric code, four digit, uh, four digit numeric code, or don't use passcode. Let's say I'm going to choose four digit numeric passcode, and I'm going to put in one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to choose use anyway. So I will re-enter the same passcode to confirm. Next, in this uh, steps, it is important that you choose the right option. So because we are transferring data from over from an Android device, so you want to select move data from Android and then tap on continued. Okay, on your Android device, you want to go to the Play Store and you want to install an app called Move to iOS and tap on open after it has finished installing. And here you can see it says use this app to copy messages, photos, and more from this Android device to a new iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So tap on continued, and tap on agreed, and then tap on while using this app to give it some uh, access uh, permission. And I'm going to tap on allow to have it access to contacts, allow Move iOS to access your calendars. So keep tapping on the allow button. And then say so send app usage. I'm going to choose don't send. And then tap on continue. It says find your code. So you can see on the iPad it has a code right here. So we tap on continue. And we need to put in the code from the iPad. So it will be two, two, nine, six, eight, one. And then say so move to iOS. It has this um, special Wi-Fi. Uh, that it automatically generate is it is it is a temporary Wi-Fi, so I'm going to tap on continued, and now it will try to connect to the iPad. Now tap on connect. So say connecting to device and connection successful. I'm just going to move the iPad over a little bit so you can see what's going on. Okay, so now it's moving the data over. So I say here, it will give you some options. Uh, Google account, messages, contacts, camera roll. Now, depending on what is available on your device, if you have a lot of apps, a lot of data, and a lot of other things, then more options will become available. Now, because this phone here is a demo phone, so I do not have a lot of data on it. So that's why you only see a few options available in, in this list. Okay, so I'm going to tap on continue button. And then now say move to iOS and it will calculate the time remaining. So we're just going to have to wait. Now this process can be quick or it may take a very long time depending on how much data you have on your Android device. So the device I'm holding right now is uh, an Android uh, Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. I do have some data on it. I don't think there is a lot of it. Uh, some apps, some games app on here as well. So it will uh, uh, take a bit of time to migrate the data over. And you can see it's still trying to calculate the time remaining uh, for this uh, transfer process. 
but yeah that's basically it so we're just gonna have to wait to see how long it takes okay so we have the estimated time is around one hour and 42 minutes and over here it will take around one hour now the reason why there are a time difference is because it's only take around an hour to move the data over and once the data is moved over they still need to uh, install and set up all the apps and the data and rearrange and all reorganize the data on your ipad that is why potentially it will take a lot longer on your ipad after the transfer has finished on the android device Okay, so after some time it has uh, finished and you can see it on the message on the Android device it says transfer is complete and on the iPad it says transfer complete as well so I'm going to tap on done over here and over here I'm going to tap on continue setting up iPad and here you need to sign into your Apple ID if you don't have one you can uh, create one or you can skip this step and then you can do that later on so i'm going to choose set up later in settings and then choose don't use and then i'm going to tap on agreed and then tap on continued uh, i'm going to choose enable location i can set up still later so i'm going to choose set up later in settings and you can also choose to set up screen time now or later on i'm going to do it later on and you can choose to whether to share the data with apple or not you can set true tone display or you can tap on continued now you can choose light or dark so light theme or dark theme that's up to you and tap on continued and next tap on get started and that's it so now we have successfully um, set up with the ipad the ipads will still need to download apps and other data so depending on what kind of apps has been transferred over you can see the ipad is still trying to uh, finish the installation of apps and other things now before you go ahead and erase your old mobile device or your uh, tablet make sure that all the data has been transferred over if there is anything that's not been transferred over successfully you need to uh, manually set up uh, you will need to manually transfer it from your uh, tablet over to your device so at this point there is no more automatic transferring uh, can be done uh, anything that needs to be bring over you have to do it manually and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos